So I went ahead and darkened the shadow. This is a 80% uh, marker shade. And what I'm going to show you is how do you deal with the curves. This cube right here, I'm going to make it pretty um, even coloring, even shading. Uh, everything is solid. This one, I'm going to make this a little more um, shiny and reflective. So at some point, I'll show you to do the reflection on this case right here. It's going to be this cube's reflection on that surface. But first, I'm going to show you the curve portion. So what I'm doing right now, this is a 30%. Cool gray, I like, I like cool gray tone, but you're definitely more, more welcome to use the warm gray as well. Um, I, I won't mix them. Uh, I'd rather just see just one tone on each rendering, pick one. So I'm going to start with the curve, right? And again, to indicate that surface, always go to the vanishing point direction strokes. Leave this portion closest to the light. Just stay open. Don't, don't render it. Same thing on the other side. Now, that's good for now. What, what makes it look um, curvy is also the contrast. So remember I told you that's a 30%. I'm going to go deeper to uh, maybe 60%. Where's the 60%? 50%. That's fine. So you're developing the contrast. Not all of them. Okay. Even deeper. You feel like you can get a lot more contrast done. This is a 90%. Okay. And on this surface, since it's flat, um, I'm going to go back to my 30%. And again, my, my strokes is going to be in the direction of the vanishing point. Okay. On the top part, I'm just going to do something. Do it a little more. Um, some diagonal in the corners. Like that. Just to show that it's a surface. It's not something that you forgot to render and um, for some reason it's not showing anything. So it showed there's some kind of um, a plane on top of this cube, like a lid. I'm going to go back to my tube. Same thing. It's just going to be strokes on from each end. Now this is um, on the on the darker point of it, so it's fine if you want to do everything in a lighter tone first. This is a thirty percent, but you're gonna develop that curve look by doing the contrast like this. That's okay. Accentuate your curve. Go to the darkest one, 90%, and just do something like that. Now, on this one right here, I'm going to do a quick really light one just to draft my reflection on that surface, right? 
This is a 50%, I believe, 60%, that's, that's okay. So somewhere right there, I would say I would start the back of that cube. Still vanishing point. And I'm gonna do it right there. Not a, not a finished one, it's gonna be like really rough reflection. And what I'm doing is I want a lighter one. So it's like a frosted finish looking. On this side, I would do the same. I'm still doing my 50% right now. I mean 30%, I'm sorry, 30%. If you notice all the reflective surface that you have, um, the more re the more glossy the surface is, the more reflective it is. It's picking up a lot of things, especially when you're inside of a room. So it's picking up all of its surroundings. So that's what we're mimicking right now. The idea is it's probably there's a lot more objects in front of it but the most distinct one is going to be this cube and notice the reflection is going to be the back of this cube's reflection so it will be uh, fairly dark on this side probably a bit same but i'm just going to split it and then start drawing it in I mean, um, uh, shading it in. And you're gonna do the same, which is building it up with more contrast. So if that's my 30%, I would go with 60 now. 